Hi everyone, finally I reached 200 in my geneticist and it's time to change him to a Biolo. Uh, it took a while but finally I'm here. So I just want to share how the experience of changing from uh, geneticist to Biolo is. It looks really easy but let's just do it. Oh, so geneticist over there, geneticist right? You came the right time, okay? Nice to meet you, my name is Ed. Aldina proudly and I'm the landscaping department under the Varus department. Where did you come to Varus today? Just now. Oh, this is the Varus city. I already went there over here. This is just the easiest way to do it. I just went to Juperos and walked a lot. That's why. Don't you smell something strange? We've been smelling it for days. We didn't know what it came from until it became unbearable. We know it's something that we throw away in the dump site, but I can't get near it, so it's incredibly stinky. You can smell it, right? <laughs> With nose plugs. Geneticists like you can make all kinds of special chemicals, can you? Is there something we can use to get rid of the other, okay? Or something that can dissolve anything, everything? I can't even fathom what uh, could smell so bad. It smells like something rotting or a dangerous chemical either way. I've never smelled anything so horrible in my life. Dang. We have a uh, suspect, but unless we can get too close to the evidence and verify what it is, we can't give the him a ticket. Never mind stop the order. So someone's uh, throwing stuff. Recently, Abiolo showed up with all kinds of exploration permits and set up shop here. I believe he's the culprit. Okay, <laughs> damn. Blaming the Biolo right away. Please help get rid of this abomination at the top site. Accept. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It even gives me the the coordinates. Please take uh, that thing and uh, ill treatment. <laughs> I'll leave it to you, sir. Okay. Sounds good. I already collected some of the items for this mission, but there's part where I have to collect something, and I didn't collect that one yet because I don't know which uh, quest is gonna give me. So this is the dump site where they're throwing stuff up. The pile of guards smells terrible so that I don't even want to get close. What do I do? Okay, what do I do? What can I do to stop the smell? Hold my nose and approach. I'd better make a mask. Oh, sounds like a mask would be a good idea, right? Ah, let's see. Is there something I need to be doing in here? Okay, better mask. Uh, layer material. And then dense fabric. Needle packet. Needle packet, okay. And uh, black charcoal. Cool, I already got all of it. I think I can use black charcoal to filter out the dust. Okay, then I'd better get 20 cloth needle package and 10 charcoals to create a gas mask and all, all tight box. Okay, sounds good. I already got that one. To make the gas mask. Oh, don't I already have it? What am I missing? No! I thought I got everything. Okay. Oh, the charcoal. Okay, charcoal, charcoal. How many charcoals do I need? Just ten. All right, that's what I was missing. I've got all the materials. Okay, so I got the all right box. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> search the dump site. As I search the dump site, they rather small, it's rather barely inaudible noise. Check searching where I am. This noise bothers me. I pick up a broomstick next to me and poke. What near the noise coming from a uh, dedicated mandaroga rolls down? This is what the smell is coming from. Oh, what? A mandaroga is just a smelly? Prick my ears. The barely inaudible noise that sounds like a terrible whistle is also coming from the mandaroga. Put it in the box. Okay. I place the mandaroga in the box, close the lid. Even with the mask on, I can tell the bad smell has gone now. Okay. Damn. It's just a mandaroga. They smell that bad. I should report back to Aldina. Okay, okay. Let's go back to Aldina. Uh, she's over here, I think, right? Dude, I'm lost. Where did she go? Where was she? Alright, I found her. Welcome to that box. I thought Aldina would cost the other in the description of Mandaroga. Ah, it's still a plant more not... Okay, then let me give you an, a document. Please wait. Okay, I gotta talk to her again. Phew, there you go. I didn't give you a piece of paper. There's not this fine illegal dumping. Please go here and say you're from the landscaping department and the owner may not open the door. Oh, 
Why? Am I not sure? This isn't the first time we've given him a warning. He's been planting some big, gigantic plants that have never seen around here before, or digging up some strange roots that looks like they could easily disrupt the ecosystem of the place. Okay. He insists whatever he created would disappear immediately, but considering how long the mummified radish looking mandaroga smell, he would no choice but to impose penalties on him. How? Come all of the scientists I've met are crazy. <laughs> damn, damn, that's harsh. <laughs> okay, let's see what else do I need to tell her. Okay, let's see. Tell me about it. All right, I could agree more. You're preaching to the choir. <laughs> yes, I know I have the uh, right person to ask. You're only one who forced. I mean, take care of him, sir. Thank you. As I wrote the notice, the name of. Gregor Dema, please give him that box and notice the collect. Thank you. Alright, so we need to talk to that guy. I don't think there's a teleportation place to go here. I don't know, if you guys know of a teleport lady that can teleport me directly here instead of going to your perros. According to all this is where this should be noticed. Knock the door. There's no door plate or anything on the door, but the porch is dust. It seems to let someone go in and out, ruined freely. I wait for now, no one answers. I don't know what this house or lab, but here it is. But what is it doing here, all of the places? Who are you? says the voice. I brought notice of the fines for illegal dumping. <laughs> What's that in your hand? Ah, oh, I see, come on in. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, dude, flower. Oh. oh, she's selling the flowers? Dude, this guy's uh, selling them for like 1 million each? Shoot for 500? This lady's uh, making money! Making money, I tell you. Show the all right box. I discovered that the dump site it is your... Why did you create something so smelly? How could you research into something so bizarre? If other words heard you, they would be crazy or not. If you haven't met anyone who's as normal as us, then maybe you're not normal at all. You don't think yourself, your colleagues, or your teachers are crazy, do you? We hope not. We just are normal as you, so let's respect each other normally. <laughs> we should uh, pr promise we'll never commit any crimes. Ha ha ha. Okay. You already did the dumping. This thing's illegal. What's your definition of crime? Easy. Anything that doesn't bother you con s conscious. Y you have conscious too, don't you? I'd rather an ambitious concept, but yes, conscious. Didn't illegal dumping bother you, conscious? How can we let two different people uh, perceive the concept of conscious, conscience, conscience, <laughs> uh, in the same way, even though it has no shape or phenomenon? The two have to think and speak the same in order to understand the embrace each other's ideas, and researching into that is sort of thing. It's not allowed because we can never turn back to what they used to be. That's why we're studying mandarogas, like the ones you were holding that smell something fierce. Sorry, I didn't think so badly when we threw it away. We suppose our design must have been flawed. What do you mean researching into some of things? Hmm. Do we really have to explain that thing to you? Irreparably, part of the research is against biotics. That's why. You've learned biotics too, haven't you? No matter how you do it, that research has to be tested outside usual scope of ethics. Isn't that funny? To verify each of our conscience, you have to do something that bothers your conscience. Crazy, isn't it? This is why we love saying, leave it to your conscience. <laughs> what the hell is she talking about? Okay, back to the subject. What's up with the smelly mummified mandaroga? That... Yes, that we're glad of mentioning. We've decided to create something that not life form to provide our conscience. What do you think of life form is? Something that's capable of its own thoughts, something that grows, something that's capable of metabolism. What do you think of conscience, say, is a life form? Everyone's metabolized. The enzymes in the body create chemical reactions to generate motive energy. You use the animal over there and even the plants over there. 
Creatures of all the great Go Extinct tribe, what do you think? Oh, I've skipped some of the dialogue. <laughs> You'll be good for your own world. Theoretically speaking, we prefer to keep it a theoretical stage because the test we have to do is to accomplish what bother us conscience greatly. Ah, just uh, thinking of the possibility of breaking to my heart as it be goodly actually did it. This is the normal response from normal society educated people. That couldn't be farther from that being normal. Gregor. We got sidetracked anyways. That's our current research in a nutshell. You know, you have to chart a spell to cast magic, right? We're trying to replicate metabolism with an arithmetic sequence. Let's say we know... You'll say your excellent brain to connect the dots here and there. Arithmetic uh, sequence. You'll then think about that place in between the dots. From atoms to molecules, from molecules to cells, from cells to stems, and stems to growth. But this plant never existed before you brought it to life. Only you know how to grow it and you teach it every single thing. From how to grow, how to bloom flowers. Uh, can you imagine it? Wait for something. <laughs> the cause of disappointing is waste spread up. Hey, are you serious? The thought were crazy. Well, who's being crazy now? We're telling you that for some reason, think about it. It's really a waste of product to you. We biolos, <laughs> so he's a biolos, biolo. Just like the geneticists can progress quickly depending on who their teacher is. Let us give you a hint. Why don't you create a tool to dispose that mandaroga on your own? Just because it shrieks, that doesn't mean it's intelligent, does it? Even that Ottoman vacuum machine over there has a mount and it's capable of sound just because it says, Master, I'm stuck, help me. That doesn't mean you have to feel sorry for it because vacuum machines are incapable of thinking for themselves. Then, what you should do from now makes now. <laughs> then, what should you make now, geneticist? Ah, uh, is there like a think I need to okay have fun fight finally mandroga incubator okay I have to wait until you get the incubator uh, mandroga incubator charge hmm. complete you want to revive it Gregor mass face is starting staring at me you're not normal either are you sis you just said you're normal you're the one to talk we know you're interested that Mandaroga stinks because of the design flow, but it's making noises that doesn't mean it's alive. It's the same as reed rubbing against each other and making noise on the fall. Hmm. Gregor tilts his head in a way that are then falls silent. As we told you earlier, if you design a plant whose metabolism is replaced by another arithmetic sequence, only you know how to grow it. But since you and our we are not our normal, we could put up with a little bit of irritation to our conscience. Bring us this material, you can give us your mask and box. What would be good? You, we think a dead branch is perfect. That and a 10 tangled chain. Okay, so I have the tangled chain. 10 coral reefs, I have that already. So a beautiful flower and a dead branch. Ah, uh, okay, sounds good. When you come back, feel free to use all the books on the desk to create this. Make this best one possible, okay? Write your name. Your gaming row, got it. We'll remember your name, see you in Genesis. Okay, so it looks like I already have the... I need the dead branch, I think I have it in my storage. And also I need... What did it say I need? Beautiful flower, right? Beautiful flower tent. Okay. <laughs> How much is this guy selling beautiful flower? Dude, one million each. Damn, dude. This guy's banking. Alright, I'm just gonna try and get it. Uh alright. Uh let me mail the the dead branch. Just one. Alright, I have that one. And let me just mail that gear game. Bro. And there we go. Got one dead branch. And I think beautiful flowers. Let me check really quick. Uh, it says it is in Malaya Field. There, this is another reason why I wanted to do this in the live stream is because 
Malaya is actually it looks I think I'm not sure but it I think it's inspired by Philippines because Ragnarok Online was really big in the Philippines so that's probably why they did that and Malaya trans, uh, translates to uh, freedom so it's like Fort Freedom and also the enemies over there are uh, Philippine horror folklore so it's kind of cool I've never actually farmed over there I just saw it last time oh did I go to the right one yeah okay, okay I went to the right one it's very cool I, I I I don't know let me know if I'm wrong but I really think it's inspired by the Philippine culture I, it's really cool dude I played Ragnarok back in the 2000 2004 and it was really big I did dude I don't know I just I just think it's really big okay go to Port Malaya and Port Malaya so Port Freedom and this is the local transportation in the Philippines it's called the jeepney and you just uh, ride that for whenever you're going anywhere the sad thing about this place is that it's so foggy it's kind of hard to see I don't know why they did it like this but yeah it's the flavor of the town so that's really cool and the boss here are also <laughs> Philippine folklore and stuff. I think it's Bangungot. Bangungot translates to like a bad dream or something in the Philippines. So that's really cool. I maybe later on when I'm higher level I'll I'll try to hunt them. But say this one, uh Thick Balang is also a folklore horror in the Philippines. So they're supposed to be like living in the tree and they're like huge horsemen and this one is the Tianak. Tianak is like a like an evil baby or evil toddler or something like that and they have a knife and stuff so they're like the scary stuff in the Philippines that's why I really wanted to do this either way uh, I think they dude they cast a slow on me which sucks I don't know what level these enemies are, but they're <laughs> they're really they're not that strong. I'll eventually try to do some some missions in here. What is this one? Good Capre Bude. What is these ones? Ah, uh, uh, let's see. Bungis Nis. Sounds familiar, but I don't really know what the what the folklore is. And this one is Wak Wak. Well, I guess Wak Wak is the, a bad creature and stuff. I I I don't know what. I don't know too much about it, but. And this one is. Uh, this is where we're trying to hunt the Mangkukulam. So Mangkukulam translates to like witch in the Philippines, where they cast like voodoo's and stuff. Ah, uh, I want beautiful flowers. I need ten of them, which kind of sucks. Uh, I think they. W I thought they'd be easy to drop, but. Oh, there you go. I got one beautiful flower. Uh, how much beautiful flower did I get? I got three. Three beautiful flowers. So that's cool. Ah, uh, dude, these are so <laughs> easy to farm. And that guy is just charging one million per item. Ah, <laughs> uh, that guy must be banking though. Because no one actually goes in this map. I don't think so. It must be like a really old update like a really old uh, patch in the game so no one comes over here I I I didn't like there was no requirement for me to be in this map while I was leveling from low level to third job there's just no reason to go to this map it's really cool I like it I just don't like that it has a uh, it's foggy I wish it it the fog was gone but that if you think about it, if it if the team is a little bit like horror and just the map the map fits it properly. Four okay, let me see. Ah uh, dude, come on. Just give me my item already. I wanna change to Biolo already. Sadly I don't think I can uh, Oh dude, oh I was I was hunting the wrong enemies. So it looks like those uh let me see what the name of, of that creature is. I was hunting, I thought I was hunting uh, Mangkukulam, but I guess I was wrong. 
I need to hunt the other enemies. Monk Kukulon drops the other requirements. Oh, it does drop the beautiful flower as well. Oh, that's interesting. It's not just one enemy that drops it. So I have six right now. Uh, so this is... Encanto. Yeah, Encantos are like... Yeah, like... Uh, mythical creatures as well. Encanto, I think they're like forest creatures or something like that. That's what the story is about. So you're not supposed to be like when you're in the forest or something like that that they're they live there the encanto the mythical creature ah uh, how would you translate that in the i think they're like encanto what's the equivalent i i don't know i don't remember oh there's another uh person in here that's weird oh the these enemies drop the flower too? So I can just kill any enemies and they drop the flower. Let me make sure that's correct. Uh, did it drop? Oh, I see a beautiful flower in here. Alright, one more. One more and I'm done. Dude, I definitely want to face the boss in here. I think they're cool, but I just don't have the time right now. Alright, there we go. I am complete with my... With my items. Let me see... I just need to do 10 of these. Dude, that guy is banking selling these items. Gear gaming... Alright. And send it. That's it. Oh, I need to be... Uh, let me just teleport back to to my town. Ah, uh, come on! All right, let's go. All right. It looks like the quest is really not that long as well for a biolo. What? I got teleported here. <laughs> uh, why did I get teleported in here? That absolutely sucks. Now I have to go to that place again. All right. Let's do this then. Ah, uh, let me just. Uh, I really wish I was. I just stayed in that place, so I don't have to walk again. But eh, it is what it is, right? All right, I have to go to Eden Groove. This is the only way I know how to get there. If you know of a better way to go to Vera City, let me know. But this is how I. This is the only one I I know. <laughs> So let me just go take the coordinates. This way I know where to go. Biolo, I don't think I'll be able to do some gameplay of the Biolo because uh, it's just that uh, it requires like crafting to be able to use the plant. I am, um, my build is focused on shark cannon. So I want to get that wooden plant. But to summon it, and you require like two high, high plant bottles, I think. Dude, it's gonna suck trying to farm that just to be able to use it. I still suck, but it is what it is, right? I just have to do it. Okay. Dude, these enemies are annoying. <laughs> Alright, let me get my pet. I purposely choose the cart cannon because I get dizzy when I do cart tornado and then also I don't want to use acid bomb because dude it requires a lot of crafting I don't want to craft the the bottles and stuff Wait, what is that it's the first time I've seen that enemy See, this is why in the beginning of the video, I started in the Varus City already because it's a lot of walking and it sucks, but it is what it is. I guess you get teleported from that uh, place if you just uh, stayed in there. Let's see. Dude, seriously, I'm not looking forward to farming the, the plant bottle. Maybe I'll just have to buy some stuff. 
All right. Uh, now I just need to go to a biologist laboratory. Uh, let me double check to see if I have everything. Coral, I do have 10. Tangle 10. Okay. Beautiful flower 10. And dead branch. Where's the dead branch? Okay, I got it. I got it. Because it would really suck just to get teleported out from here. <laughs> Dude, 1 million each, huh? Bring the material I told you. Dude, I already have it! Create what you want from the book over there. Young geneticists, it won't be difficult to think of. Oh, really? So I have to... Yeah, I think I have to, like, get the books and stuff, huh? Alright, this place is poorly ventilated, Gus. The uh, ventilated system broken, can't... Let's fix the warm mask. No thanks. What should I do? Dust off the reading book. This book is an invitation of Uruk on the next door. Ah, uh, I don't think I want to read the books though. I mean, I'm, I'm down to reading dialogues, but I don't know if I wanna dust off the book. Just read the book, dude. That's a lot. If I had a lot of free time, maybe I would do it, but no. Nah. Dust off and read the book. Okay. It'll, it'll take too long for everyone to... <laughs> I don't want to subject everyone to that that long of a reading, which I'm already reading a lot. Wipe the desk after you use it. Organize the content that I read. Sitting in the eyes closed making me think about stuff inside the book I've read. I thought this desk was a strange position from here. <clears throat> I can see that the whole lab saved a couple of bookshelves behind me. This place didn't look so big from the outside. Spending time in the poorly ventilated place must be affecting my brain. I feel dizzy. There's no window here. <laughs> I was sure I saw them from the outside. Is there one behind the bookshelves? Not having windows definitely help. helps preserve books. But what about these plants? They can't be green and fresh without adequate sunlight. Stop letting your mind wander like that. What you have to do now is to try to share your mind with a dead plant. You can say this doesn't make sense either. It perfectly makes sense. Get it? Man Gregor points at his finger at the mandaroga above his head. Ah, oh, there's a mandaroga in his head? I didn't even notice that. Can't you see separate yourself from your mandaroga? Good question. Young geneticist. Of course, we can. All we have to do is just rewrite the arithmetic sequence to switch back and forth it's different from a homunculus is that you and your homunculus are two separate beings your mandaroga is part of you really so don't try to emphasize what it is just use it to expand your mind you don't have to feel guilty remember it's not a plant you've created it's part of you <laughs> oh damn like my nails like my nails and your nail clippings we need an aromatic sequence that can control the separate plants each and every single cell like our body a uh, mandaroga incubator obtained. From a windowless household to a proper space inside, outside, it must be identical. I wiped the desk clean. Okay, so... Uh, mandaroga incubator. Speak to Gregor. Okay, let's just speak to Gregor. You're working hard. Well, thanks, thanks to you. Did we make you do this? Oh, that's right, we did. Okay, uh, so are you ready? For what? Now that you know the secret, you can never go back. You'll grow with your own plant and it'll see what you see. It may not have life, but you do. You will gain new abilities that you can't buy yourself. Now, we'll tell you this Mandaroga's arithmetic sequence. Everything else you can figure out on your own. No need to imagine what happening. Just remember what we're teaching you. You have the ability to recreate it on your own soon. You'll also know the new skills that are coming our way. Close your eyes. Ah, I closed my eyes. Gregor held my hands. I felt the mandaroga atop his head, opening its eyes. <laughs> Words spoken by a mysterious voice, starting flowing in my mind, showing the, the secret mandaroga arithmetic sequence. What is used to look and what it takes to form that I wanted. During the experience, I saw how my mandaroga, even though it wasn't really life form, would attack something as soon as I recognize as an enemy and fight until the lifeless body uh, crumbles into dust. 
Now, Greer Gaming Row, it's part of your life, part of you. When it fulfills its purpose, it will crumble into dust, but you'll still remain. It's done. You provide it. We help create a foundation, but this arithmetic sequence is your own now. Good job. The Biolo! Congratulations, you're becoming a Biolo. When Gregor released his hands, so did the roots that were connected to me. Come to us if you need help. Just don't expect us to collect garbage. Okay. Wow, finally! I am now a Biolo! Damn! Alright, let's go get some gears. <laughs> I still have my... I don't have any special gear, so... Ah, okay, let's go cover up that uh, headgear that I have. This is all the gear I have there. Just, oh, what is that uh, item that they gave me? Hourglass necklace. It's believed to lose its power when hourglass runs out. Power, skill point, wise, con, plus six. Power, spell, wise, crit, con, for every five job. Wow, this looks like a really strong item. I've never had a... A fourth job. So this is my fourth, first fourth job, and I have no idea what the talents are, power, and stuff like that. I have to do the research on that one, so it'll take me a while. And also, like I said, the item, the skill that I really wanted is uh, create not creeper, but the wood fairy. Uh, it says it consumes to advanced plant bottle. See, advanced plant plant bottle. And Biolo Farm Pharmacy. This is to for creating the advanced plant bottle. So even if I level up, I won't be able to show you the skills anyway. So I might end the. I'll just end the live sh uh, the video here. But let me see what is. I think they sell something. Sure. Uh, okay. So just the breaker. That's all he's selling. Let me buy 50 of these just in case, and I'll put him on my on my uh, my cart there it is so this is the the biolo story i think uh, i think it was kind of okay not the best the story was okay it was short uh, i did most of the grinding already so it was shorter than it normally would be but all right everyone thank you for watching this video and see you on my next live stream and if we could do the the dungeons or instance with that that'd be great all right bye see ya